Well, it's no secret to anyone in North Texas and around the country that our area is experiencing explosive growth. Collin County is helping to lead the way. This is really not about the, uh, the buildings. It's about the people that they bring and uh, the quality it adds to our communities. Plano Mayor Harry LaRosselier is seeing the benefits of economic decisions that started decades ago. We're very intentional. It started with the development of Legacy Park, and in the 1980s, Plano recruiting J.C. Penney, Frito Lay, Capital One, and Pizza Hut to call Collin County their home. And now we have Toyota. Liberty Mutual, J.P. Morgan, and, and, and Boeing, and so many more. That success continues to bubble over in Plano. Just look up at the construction cranes everywhere throughout town. You have a development like Legacy, the Legacy West and the entire Legacy area. Um, it's a new type of mixed-use development that you've not seen anywhere uh, in, in the country and certainly not in this area. As well as other surrounding cities. The Dallas Cowboys office has moved from Irving to Frisco and global headquarters are finding homes in Collin County's biggest cities. Mayor LaRosselier sees it as a team effort across the region. A strong Dallas uh, supports Plano and a strong Plano supports Dallas. So we, we really work in, in collaboration with our, with our neighbors north, south, east and west. The mayor acknowledges the challenges that come with explosive growth from infrastructure to maintaining quality city services. The future of Plano is bright. We have so much uh, available that we will remain a diverse, inclusive, world-class city that offers an abundance of educational, employment and cultural opportunities for everyone to enjoy. Well, last month, Wallet Hub ranked Frisco and McKinney in the top five nationally when it comes to mid sized cities with the highest growth. We're wrapping up the series of uh, this week, rather. So if you've missed any of the 25 biggest moments in DFW history, you can catch them on our website, cbsdfw.com.